Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Nissan Rogue SV in this gorgeous glacier white color. This all-wheel drive, four-door, five-passenger SUV comes equipped with a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. As an added bonus, this vehicle has no accidents reported. Starting off from some of the notable exterior features, you've got a great looking front end with lots of unique and stylish body lines here. You've got that nice chrome piece along the grill there, as well as of course the LED daytime running lights, that nice sharp angle there. And just below here, you'll also find the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you've got the great looking 17 inch alloy rims the vehicle currently rides on, and those are wrapped in the Michelin tires with tons and tons of tread, as you can see. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll find the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. And you've also got the nice chrome accents that see around the windows as well as the door handles and the roof rails up top. And back here, you've also got tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And that tint continues in back as well. And again, you've got the roof rails up top making it nice and easy to expand your storage at some point in the future if you choose to do so. In back here, you've got the nice color match roof fin antenna as well as the color match roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. Back here, you'll also find a rear windshield wiper as well as, of course, the Rogue badging. And on the other side, you've got the SV all-wheel drive badging. If you're looking for a modern SUV that's filled with features and utility, this is the one for you. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all the notable interior features. Hopping inside, this stylish SUV is nice and easy thanks to the Proximity Smart Key System. But of course, you do have your standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob as well. And you'll also find this vehicle comes equipped with a short range remote start, which is a really handy feature. You can fire it up in the winter and warm it up before you even hop inside. All you have to do is walk up with the key on your person and press the button to unlock the vehicle. And when you hop out, you got the button again to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're good with this nice stylish black fabric seating here with the very unique pattern in the center of the seat. Just below the driver's seat, you'll also find the power adjustable seat controls, which includes your power adjustable lumbar support. So let's go ahead and hop inside, fire this vehicle up, and take a look at all those bells and whistles. The features inside this Nissan start with the push button ignition. Simply put your front of the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is inside. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel, you've got a very nice padded black leather armrest that leads to the controls for your power windows and locks. And as an added bonus, your driver's side window is automatic. Just above here, you'll find the power mirror controls. And if you take a look underneath, you'll find a little bit of extra storage as well as an extra cup holder integrated into the door panel. Just to the right, you'll find the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster, as well as your trip reset button for your odometer. Just below that, you'll find the traction control buttons. You can toggle that on and off, and you've also got the gas cap release. Underneath here, you've also got the differential lock for your all-wheel drive system, as well as the sport and eco mode buttons, so you can toggle between whether you're trying to get a little bit more fuel economy or performance out of the vehicle. If you take a look over at the steering column here, you'll find the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheels. You can get it in the perfect position. And if we take a look just behind the wheel at the turn signal stock, you notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a great set it and forget it feature. And you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at the steering wheel, you'll find a very nice four spoke steering wheel here with the nice silver accent piece at the bottom. And you've got a nice flat bottom. That is a very sporty steering wheel. You've even got some subtle bolsters up top to give the wheel a nice ergonomic feel while you're driving. Over on the left hand side, you've got your audio controls, which includes your volume rocker and track selector buttons. And you've also got the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster. And we'll go and take a look up there in just a moment. Over on the right hand side, you've got the buttons for your cruise control system, which is fantastic for those highway drives. And you'll also find the voice recognition button as well as the Bluetooth hands-free calling button. If we go ahead and take a look up at the digital display there, you've got the time at the top as well as the exterior temperature. At the bottom there, you've got the gear that the vehicle is in as well as the drive mode. You've also got the range and of course your odometer and you can see that this vehicle currently has 73,232 kilometers on it. In this very first information screen here, you've got a couple of average speeds so you can track that nice and easily. That tracks 42 different trips. You've also got your trip distance and time. You can also find the Eco Pedal Guide here so you can be sure that you're driving as fuel efficiently as possible and that'll also give you your average fuel consumption. You've also got the audio system here so you can check what's playing and adjust it without ever having to take your hands off the wheel or even glance your infotainment system while you're driving. Next you got the safety shield here so it'll let you know what's going on outside the vehicle. You've also got your driving aids here which includes your emergency brake and blind spot monitoring. The next screen is your tire pressure, so you can quickly check your tire pressure and ensure none of your tires are flat. You've also got the 4x4i 
indicator here, so that'll let you know how much power is headed to each wheel. And finally here you've got the warning, so any re relevant vehicle messages or warnings will display on this page here. And you've also got the settings for your driver assist, which includes your driving aids, so the blind spot monitoring and emergency braking that we looked at. You've also got the cross traffic alerts for your parking aids and for your chassis control here you've got the trace control as well as the engine brake. So lots of driver assist to help keep you safe. You've also got the clock, meter settings, vehicle settings, maintenance, alarm and more here. So there's lots to go through and customize to your preferences. And of course, if you want to reset those to the factory settings, you can do so at the bottom there with the factory reset button. Over in the center of the dash here, you've got a couple of climate vents up top as well as the hazard lights. And just below that, you'll find the embedded touchscreen infotainment system. And in terms of your audio options here, you can see you've got lots to choose from. You've got your standard AM, FM radio. You've also got a CD player as well as USB and auxiliary inputs. You've also got Bluetooth audio, and this vehicle comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can easily sync up your device regardless of the type of phone that you have. If you hit the main menu here, you can also access the phone screen if you have your device hooked up. And if we go into the info screen here, you can check your system information as well as your vehicle data transmission. And over in settings here, you've got lots to go through again and customize to your preferences. If you hit the camera button over on the other side here, you can bring up your camera settings. And if we back out and hit the camera button, again, you've got the nice display settings here. You can bring up the camera and adjust the brightness, contrast, tint, color. And of course, if you just wanna see the camera, you can put it into reverse and bring up the camera with the nice guiding lines there. And as you turn the wheel, you can see you've got the nice guiding lines to help reverse. And of course, if you put the vehicle back in a park, you'll bring back the main screen there. Just below that, you've got the climate controls for the vehicle. And this is a single zone climate control vehicle, but it does come with air conditioning for those hot summer days. And for the cold winter days, you've got heated mirrors, which is a very nice feature to have. You also find the passenger airbag warning just below here. And then of course, you've got the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned earlier, as well as a 12 volt outlet to keep the devices charged up. Then you've got a nice tray here a nice little rubber texture to put your phone in or some smaller items as we continue down here you got your shifter and you can put that into a manual mode if you're looking to manually shift between the gears you've also got a couple of cup holders here as well as the two stage heat seats for both front passengers again a very nice feature to have in the winter then you got your nice padded black leather armrest and you can open that up to reveal your center console with lots of room inside you also got a nice carpeted bottom there as well as a usb charging uh, outlet so that's just for charging not to hook up to your audio system and you've also got an extra 12 volt outlet in there as well if we take a look over on the passenger side you've got the nice glove box with lots of room inside as well as your owner's manual and over on the door panel there you'll find the same great design that we found on the driver's side as well as of course the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window finally if we take a look up top here you've got a really handy sunglasses holder as well as the interior lighting controls so that concludes the features up front. Let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you'll find more of that same comfortable fabric seating that extends all the way across the rear bench seat. Back here, you've also got lots of leg room for the rear passengers. And if we hop inside, you'll find a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat, as well as a couple of climb events to keep the rear passengers comfortable. Back here, you've also got a nice fold down center armrest for your rear passengers. If you grab that pull tab there, you can fold the rear seat down. The center seat there to give you a couple of extra cup holders and a nice little armrest for your rear passengers. These rear seats also do fold down in a 60-40 split. If you have some additional cargo to store, you can simply grab the latch up top and fold the seat down nice and easily, giving you lots and lots of interior cargo space. And you'll also notice you've got that nice flat surface there. It lays flush with the trunk so you can lay large items flat with no problem. So we'll go ahead and take a look back there, but before we do, we'll take a quick glance at the rear door panel. You'll find the same great design that we found in the front. As well as, of course, a switch for the rear windows and a little bit of storage underneath there. So let's go ahead and pop the hatch. You've got the button underneath here. And you'll find a very generous carpeted cargo area. Lots and lots of room for storage. And the reason that this deck lays flat with these seats is because you've got this little extra storage compartment underneath here, which is really handy. You've got some extra interior storage. And, of course, you've got the nice deck to lay it flat with the seats there. Under this compartment, again, you've got more storage space. And of course, all the way underneath there, you've got the spare tire as well as the tools to change it in case you ever get a flat. Back here, you'll also find over on the right hand side here, a handy 12 volt outlet.
That concludes this short video walk around, but this stylish SUV will not last long on our lot, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Lead Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.